So the vertex of a parabola, if you think about what a parabola looks like again, that vertex is going to be either the highest point or the lowest point. So in this case, that's where the vertex would be. So that has an x and a y coordinate. And the way that we get our vertex, your vertex is going to be equal to, you get the x value by doing um, negative b over 2a, same thing as your axis of symmetry, and then you get the y value. So first thing you need is the x value. That's what you always start with. So in this first example, um, our a value is in front of the x squared, so negative 1, and our b value is with the x, which is 8. So we'll find the x first. So x equals a negative 8, so there's your negative b over 2 times negative 1. So that's negative 8 over negative 2, which gives us a positive 4. So we just found the x value of your vertex. Now to get the y value, all you have to do is take that 4 and plug it back into the original equation. So the original equation y equals, it's a negative parentheses, and I'm going to plug in a 4 for the x, 4 squared, plus 8 times 4. And then we'll just simplify this. You want to be sure to do the exponent first. So 4 squared is 16 and then bring down your negative, so it ends up being a negative 16, plus 8 times 4 is 32, and a negative 16 plus 32 is a positive 16. So our vertex will have the ordered pair, the x was a 4, and the y was a 6, oh, um, the y was a 16. And we are set with that one. All right, this next example, um, find the vertex. You do the x value first, negative b over 2a. So our a value is 4, and our b value is 8. So to get the x value, we're going to do a negative, and then b, which is 8, over 2 times our a value, which is 4. So we have negative 8 over 8, which gives us negative 1. Now, once you get the x to find the y, you just plug it back into the original equation. So y equals 4 parentheses. So I'm going to plug in a negative 1 for all those x's. Plus 8 times negative 1 plus 1. When we simplify, always this is the first thing you do. You do that exponent. So negative 1 squared is a positive 1 times 4. I'll just write the whole thing out again. Alright, so now we can do our multiplication. 4 times 1 is 4. 8 times a negative 1 is a negative 8 plus 1. And then 4 minus 8 is negative 4 plus 1, which gives us negative 3. So in this case, our vertex will be the ordered pair Let's see, our x was a negative 1, and the y was that negative 3 that we just got. So to find the vertex, first thing you do is get the x with that negative b over 2a. Once you get your x value, plug it back into the equation to get the y value.